Hello and welcome back. Sean here from the paradise of Bali, Indonesia. Looking to fill you in on what it's really like in Bali. So the real talk, should you come here? Is it worth it? Can you work here as a digital nomad? Plus so much more. Let's do it. Paradise Adventures, we're all about going on amazing adventures in unbelievable locations. And we're on a mission to find your next adventure in paradise. There's three things you can do to help. Let us know when you want to go in the comments below. Like, subscribe and turn on bell notifications. It lets you know when the next video comes out. It's free and it helps YouTube find more viewers. The third is use our links below. We've got links to travel insurance, links you can use to book your next adventure or tour, as well as travel a visa debit card. And there's also a link to buy us a beer. All the money we earn goes towards the next adventure. Let's get to it. Let's get into it guys. Let's talk about what it's really like here in Bali. What's the food like, accommodation, transportation, can you work here as a digital nomad? Are the beaches any good? But should you come here now? Is it worthwhile? To get started, let's talk about, look, this is my opinion. I'm all about real talk, letting you know what it's really like. If I like something, I'll say it. I've been fortunate enough to go to some really nice places and I've, you know, had a lot of good things to say about them. But I don't want to be the guy who tells you uh, everything's amazing and then you get here and it's not what you expect. So this is about real talk. It's my opinion. You might agree with it. You might not. But at the end of the day, what I'm about and what this channel is about is being more authentic and telling you what it's really like. Giving you our honest opinion is something that we value here. So I do want to go through and just let you know what it's really like here because I think there's a lot of people there's a lot of Instagram and that hype up the place and at the end of the day you might get here and you might be a bit disappointed all right so first up transportation transportation is pretty easy you either rent a motorbike or use grab or gojek grab and gojek are what they use here instead of uber it's pretty much the same thing you can order food delivered from it you can book a taxi and then you've also got go ride so you can jump on the back of a motorcyclist ends up being cheaper than renting a car and driver to pick you up and take you places it's quite affordable and traffic is <laughs> it might be 16 kilometers away but that's about an hour accommodation look you've got hotels resorts you know you can look on a goto and it's not homestays or anything like that. You can live comfortably with a budget of 150 to 200 US a week. If you wanted to go luxury, add an extra 100, 150, you know, double it and you can live quite comfortably. So that's the accommodation. Food, they love noodles, fried rice here. You've got so many different varieties of that. But then you've got all the Western kind of restaurants. You've got barbecue grills. You've got steakhouses, anything you want really. There's Japanese, Korean food, Chinese restaurants, you name it. It's, you know, it's an established city. You can expect to get reasonable food here. If you're looking for some really nice local food, they do beef rendang, really good here. Bubby Gooling is really nice as well. Yeah, if you want to try some local Balinese food, I would suggest those. Can you work here as a digital nomad? Yes, so Bali has fiber optic cable, so they have really fast internet capabilities, so you can get really good internet here, but it's not everywhere. Some hotels will be cheap on it, some Airbnbs will be cheap on it, so you do have to ask if you're gonna work here as a digital nomad, or you've got the working coast space living places. But then there's a lot of cafes with fast Wi-Fi as well, so there's always those as an option. Just read the reviews on Google. Oh, 
when it comes to the beaches here, the beaches are quite polluted. What you find, you're constantly being hassled by people wanting to give you a massage or sell you something. You can't really enjoy a quiet time at the beach. You'll have people approaching you every 10, maybe 15 minutes. So it's not as relaxing as it could be because yeah, everyone's just trying to get money out of you, <laughs> essentially. See what I mean? No. That's exactly what it's like. That was as if it was on cue, but hey, unplanned. They just approach randomly, but relatively constantly. The beaches here are quite average, to be honest. They're polluted. All the main beaches from like Changu and, and even past Changu all the way to Jimbaran, even Sonor Beach, expect grey, browny coloured water, expect littered sand beaches. So much rubbish in the sand here, it's quite bad. Don't come for the beaches. <laughs> the beaches are quite disappointing. Even when you get out to places like Uluwatu, Nusa Penida, the beaches are very rocky. The sand can be really coarse, it's not white powdery sand. Yes, they have palm trees, but expect to be walking across rocks when she hit the water in a lot of these beaches. There's good surf if you're a surfer. Of course there's good surf. Uluwatu has uh, cleaner beaches, cleaner water. I wouldn't go surfing in any of the main beaches though. Not in the grey brown water that you get here. I've heard of people having problems with their eyesight after swimming in the water here. So yeah, just be mindful. The water's not clean. The beaches are pretty much filled with things like this. Just bars where you can go buy drinks. The beaches just seem to be all about beach bars and beach clubs. It's really about partying. If you want to party, sure, come to Bali. Just don't swim at the beaches. If you want to experience some Balinese culture, you've got to get out to Uluwatu, Nusa Penida, Ubud, or even north of Ubud. These are the guys that sell your stuff. They're everywhere. The adventures. There are some amazing waterfalls here. There are some amazing beaches that you can view. They're not all for swimming though. They're not all comfortable to swim in. They're not all clean enough to swim in. I've gone to Nusa Penida, I've gone to Ubud, I've done a few waterfalls and look, once you get past 9, 9.30 in the morning, just expect to be lining up behind a lot of people to get through to things and standing behind a lot of people or with a lot of people trying to take photos. So if you're going to do these day tours, just expect it to be packed everywhere you go. A lot of them open about 6.30. You really got to get there early and be done by 8, 9 before all the buses and vans turn up and everything gets packed and it does quite easy. The stuff that you see on Instagram, if you're not there before 9 in the morning, it ends up being a good place to take photos of people taking photos. If you're looking to experience some real Indonesian culture, there's places out there. It's just hard to find in Bali. You really got to get out to the remote areas. North, east and west of Ubud is where you should be going. That's where you'll find some really nice places to experience some true culture. You get it in Uluwatu, you do get some of it in Ubud and you also see it a lot more in Nusa Penida. Indonesia as a whole, I think there's a lot more places I want to visit. There's a lot of culture to experience here. Balinese culture is actually, I think it's really good and unfortunately it's all lost to beach bars, beach clubs, tourism. If you are coming to Bali and you're thinking of, you're gonna get the culture here, it's just not in the main areas of Bali. There is a bit of a barrier to entry to experience a lot of the culture here too and that is to go into any of the temples, you have to be wearing the traditional Balinese clothing that they wear at the temple. So it's not like you can just walk in to take some photos or video. 
it's not to say you can't do those experiences, you just got to be prepared to take that effort to do it. If you were thinking about coming to Bali, look, this is just my opinion, do some research, but if you've seen my other videos, you've seen what this channel is about, you know we've been to some amazing beaches, you know we like really good beaches, so yeah, they're just not here. All the river systems that run through the city flow into the ocean and it makes it all grey and brown. Yeah, not good. Not good. Can you still have fun and enjoy it? Yeah, if you want to hit the clubs and hit the beach bars, for sure. You can have a good time here. And there's some things I really like about Bali. There's definitely places that you should check out. You should go to Ubud. You should go to Nusa Penida. But spend as less time as you can if you want to experience culture in the main areas of the city. Nusa Penida has some amazing structures. And I did enjoy my time in Nusa Penida. I've enjoyed time in Uluwatu. It's a better experience than some of the others. I enjoyed time in Ubud, but yeah, Chengdu, Seminyak, Kuda, Jimbaran have all left me feeling a bit meh, you know, a bit average. Can you come here and chill on the beach? Yes, you can, but it's just not clean. And it's just not, it's not a paradise but one thing when it comes to the beaches I think the Balinese government should consider here is that if you go to places like Krabi or you go to places like uh, Philippines another sales guy just trying to sell stuff so if you go to places like If you go to places like Krabi and Palawan, you'll notice there they have taxes. And the taxes that they have go towards cleaning the beaches. The Bali government should consider something like that. Obviously the money has to be collected from tourism and it has to be used to employ people to clean everything up and keep things clean. But yeah, look, it's, it's not the only option, it's not the only solution, but it's one that is working in Thailand and the Philippines. So something to consider. Should you come here? Look, I'll leave it up to you guys. Certainly up to you. Is it worth coming? For me, it's okay. If you're coming here thinking it's amazing beaches and you're going to experience amazing Balinese culture, unfortunately it's all lost to tourism and you'll probably be a bit disappointed. The adventures, I did the hike down to Diamond Beach, I did the hike down to Kalen Klen Beach. I've got some new features that I use for those that I'm looking to share with you guys, some new tech that I was using. I went to some of the waterfalls around Ubud, I went to some of the rare ones, I went to some of the popular ones as well, but I got there really early. So there is a lot of that coming up and there's some really good stuff to show you. So if you'd like to see what's coming up, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on an episode because we've got a lot of good stuff coming and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.